it's a uh, it's Sweet Tea and Nico. Mm -hmm. mm. I know you guys have played, but for whatever reason, I just can't remember. I like, think usually Nico oh. wins. I think Sweet Tea has like two wins on Nico though. Mm. I think it was like one tournament he double eliminated him, but I can't recall off the top of my head. So I'm that's curious. It. Mainly how uh, Shield Eye affects low percent combos from Ivysaur and Squirtle. Those are normally pretty devastating on other characters, but like Shulk has that combo break. Mm -hmm. I think from what I've seen, typically Sweet Tea is good at adapting to it. So then instead, so instead of like going for like jump bear or something like that, he'll just like stay on the ground and up tilt instead to get the, the shield combo instead. Doesn't look like Nico's quite opting for it yet, but he hasn't been really put into a combo situation yet. So yeah, he's just been walling him out really well. Which is, uh, I don't know, I feel like that's a weakness in Squirtle too, because he just doesn't have that much range really. Yeah. That was interesting. He did like parry into. I think I was down tilt actually. Is that down tilt? Yeah. That's yeah, okay, okay. Tilt. I was like, I, I don't see that move too often. Usually I see like falling off Aaron's head or something like that. Yeah, I was sort of trying to put in some work, but he's really fishing for these dash grabs. They're really punishable with Ivysaurus. Tether grabs is really slow. I know the reward he gets from like down throw up air and fair is like crazy, but uh, Nico's not really falling for it. All right, decides to come back to center stage, try to apply some pressure there. Try to catch him going up with that up air. And he finally has got himself some control. Yeah, I like Nico's uh, stalling to wait out the down air from Ivy Sword. Mm -hmm. He's really smart. Oh man, free punish? Nice, goes for the down smash. Yeah, decided to go for the quicker up, uh, smash attack after the up smash didn't quite connect. Oh, there's the F, so that move is very powerful. Yep, swings like a baseball bat, man. Yep. Tech's in, nice, tech chase. Wow, good reaction to that. Yeah. And getting the up smash too. I don't see that move that much from Squirtle, but it looks really good. Yeah, you don't normally see the smash attacks from Squirtle, but I think Sweet is trying to utilize each of the characters traits even more than the standard flow chart of the trainer. So it looks like it's working out. I don't think uh, Nico is expecting that at all. And oh, wow, man. after all that, still not the sign of the shield. Yeah, surprising. Wow, there's that air slash even under the ledge. That's yeah. a pretty good answer for Ivy Swords, like uh, up beam stalling from the ledge. I really respect the attempt from Sweet Tea, but yeah. Looks like oh, oh, wow. Did he free grab there? Or I he think, just had no invincibility? I think he like tried to do it like a drop down jump fair, and then oh. he like caught him on like immediately on the drop down. That's probably what happened. All right, that's good for Sweet Tea. He's kind of trailing behind a little bit. Yeah. See if he's able to run with the lead. Air slash? No, I like that he uses the razor leaves to cover the ledge, so if he tries to go down and cover low recovery, he gets the up B instead. Nice, gets those quick flies. Still 20% it looks like. Yeah, flies a decent out of shield option when it decides to work. Yeah, properly. when all the hits connect, <laughs> yeah. you don't fall out of it. Mm -hmm. Damn, even with the parry, he couldn't punish that back air from full range. Yeah, Nico's slowly getting the timing to punish these switches from a uh, Pokemon trainer. You gotta be careful. I think if he times it right, you get like, an air slash. Or pretty much any decently uh, strong punish. Okay, he's going pretty slow here. Nice little uh, raised leaf stall again to get to the ledge, but Nico walling him out the back there. Yeah, he's making it so it's really hard for him to just run off there because he has to deal with the raised leaf. Uh, these two definitely pairing each other a lot, but it's only plus three advantage, so you can not too many things you can do that will guarantee a hit. So neither of these two really getting anything. Wow, Nico's just spamming back here, hoping that one of them will land eventually. And potential last hit situation for both of these two. One good hit from either character. Oh my goodness, I saw the startup of Fly come out. <laughs> oh, oh, that's no. a free hit. Oh man. Do you think he meant to do that, or do you think he meant to hit the ledge? No, nah, I don't think he wants to shoot, overshoot the ledge. Yeah, yeah, neither do I. Damn, that's unfortunate. So when you lose the first game with a lot of momentum off an of SD, man, that was yeah. that's like, damn. Yeah, and this inputs, you hate to see him. But uh, I don't know, I, I guess it's good that, not that it's like, I mean, I guess it's not good, but at least it's in a local and it's not like, you know, at a major tournament. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see uh, I don't see Sweet Tea switching to Pichu. I don't think so either. Sure. 
If anything, I, I feel like you, I see them going Pichu less and less these days. Yeah, I feel like we're hitting that phase where like switching to your counter picks doesn't quite work as well as it did before anymore now that everyone's more adapted to the game. So just sticking to your main and just sticking out the matchup, especially if it's a top tier character, I think is paying dividends yeah. for people now. Pokemon Trainer definitely is like a, a really high tier character. Yeah. Very definitely. Lots of people have been playing and work with this character. I forgot, which, cool. I forgot um, which player it was that basically made Levin say, oh, by the way, Levin was wrong. Or something like that. Oh, really? I remember he said that, but I forgot which player was it. There's that. a few. Like, the Puppe did really well. Oh, it was, was Puppe. It was yeah. Puppe at CEO. Well, yeah. I guess Wish is going a lot of Inkling Joker lately, but yeah. But this character's even, good, man. Even Tweak is playing a lot of Pokemon Trainer lately. Mm -hmm. so, oh, no, I think it's really cool that Pokemon Trainer is actually viable in this game. Really interesting character. Oh. But there's the yeah. smash art fair from deep. This time the Razor Leafs couldn't stop him. Yeah. So he just got to pretty much bully him off stage there. I think that was like kind of a panic Razor Leaf because Shulk was already in the right position to fair. And then Sweet Tea was like, oh shoot, I gotta do something. And then he threw out the Razor Leaf and it didn't quite work out the way he wanted. Another tech chase situation. Very nice. Yeah. She's really on point with that. I guess the LB. Some pressure off the ledge a little bit. See if he can do stuff with the Squirtle, get the stock off before he's at too high percent. Squirtle's really light too, so uh, whenever I see people stay with a uh, Squirtle against a character with Rage, I always uh, get surprised a little bit. Yeah. Ivy Swords out. Oh, try to get a pivot grab, no connection there. This time the Razor gets him off of him. Almost got another Smash Art fair in the Blast Zone. Oh. Go over, waits off the switch. No down there, but nice punish. C covers the spot dodge. Ooh, covering the hard cover too. Oh my goodness, that down air hitbox completely destroying that up B. It didn't look like it would connect, but just enough. Mm -hmm. Now they go in the pretty good spot. Yeah, three stock lead right now. I feel like the Squirtle's not quite going to be able to cut it though, uh, with potentially getting the kill unless he gets an edge guard. So he's switching to Ivy Sword, oh and goodness. he's getting juggled he took for it. So much damage in Buster. Is he dead? Almost at 95. Oh, there's Smash Art. That was a really good string right there. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know if Sweet Tea oh could have done God. anything about that. Yeah. No, that's actually a thing. Uh, if you do Buster Art and then it switches oh, out, it, can, it still has like the combo ability to air slash there. Did you see, did you see Shul or, excuse me, Nico's face? He was like, hmm, I can't believe I did that. He's like, yeah, damn, I'm yeah. good at this game. <laughs> he's insane with Shulk. Yeah. There's a reason why he's the best Shulk. Right? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was a solid three stock, man. Yeah. It was just kind of crazy because, like, you know, Jacob's a great player, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's he's had uh, some very nice uh, wins over the or over the years, over the months. <laughs> Acting like it's already been, like, four years in yeah. this game <laughs> already. <laughs> like seven months or something. Yeah. And he was always good in Smash 4 as well, so. Yeah. But let's see. Yeah, he's... It's gonna be rough to reverse 3 on Nico, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to do. We'll see. He's a good player. He can adapt. But, uh, I don't know. He's just been really struggling to get around these, the range of Shulk, especially with Squirtle. The guy's parry punish. Really risky because if he messed that up, that F smash. Yeah, that could have been dead. Could have killed Squirtle from Santa Fe, but I wouldn't be surprised. I think Squirtle's like the third lightest, like only behind like Jigglypuff and Pichu. So like, if you're if you're near the range of those characters, like you're gonna die to a lot of things early. Oh, he just runs off stage. You have the extra speed from the speed R2 to just reach him there. Yeah, man. Razor Leaf has a little bit of startup too, so I think he did it to bypass that just in case he did throw out Razor Leaf. But yeah. regardless, he's dead. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was a really good down smash to cover his Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, he, he has to play aggressive in those situations. I, I like that you split in the fair, because otherwise Nico just gets to forward him into like a even worse position off stage. Yeah. And like force him to old jump. It was a really bad spot. Yeah. And you saw immediately as soon as Nico switched to shield arc, or actually even when he saw the Monado dial come up, then he decided to go for up tilt instead on that platform. Didn't quite connect the way he wanted to, but you can see how Nico, or excuse me, how Sweet Tea wants to adapt to Nico's uh, arc switching already. So he's yeah. ready and aware for him. Yeah, that's really good for him. Oh, try to go off stage in the corner for the neutral. Gotta watch the Buster Shulk, man. He's gonna do a ton of damage at the ledge. Dang, the Nair to F to so much percent. Yeah, I like Lincoln, and all of a sudden it's back to even on the percent. Alright, back to him. Nice flamethrower. He's gonna do jumps high. Good shield pressure with the backer. Almost shield poke. Charizard's shield just doesn't look like that good. But nice 
anti-arrow smash caught the jump immediately. Yeah, with a lot of these big characters that I do wonder, it's like, so is it just easier to shield poke them, you Dude, know? Dude, it like, looks like it. Like, unless they angle their shield, it seems like it's really easy to hit them. Yeah, it's like a, it's like with Game & Watch in Melee. Like, his shield just does not cover his whole body for some reason. Good parry's coming all around. Trying to find the seal off the stock very soon. Not quite, though. I think he caught a jump there with that down throw. Oh, man. Right, there we he go. just keeps catching these back airs at the way. Like, either he, he, like, he chill pokes them or he catches them spotting at the wrong time. I think it's like that slight startup of the back air that like throws people off. Mm -hmm. and it's like by the time you realize what's happening, you probably got hit by it already. Yeah. So you have to register it in your mind for a bit and it doesn't quite work out the way you want it to. All right, some more up tilts, oh, yeah, some really, more juggles. He's really good at punching these switches right now. All right, the Razor Leaf does do oh, his man. job again, but still, he's stuck on the ledge. He's got to figure oh, out his way around. He does gosh, it. That was such good shield pressure, dude. The right. back air is just to force him to drop shield and then immediately angle that force smash. That was yeah. so good.